Good evening, my friends. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. This is a show that is dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So this is the Monday night show called Look Back at a Classic Rock Album. And tonight we're going to be doing this album. Bachman Turner Overdrives, or BTO if you prefer, Not Fragile. Not to be confused with Yes is Fragile. <laughs> Sorry, had to throw that in there. Tongue in cheek, they called it. So the story of this album goes that um, Randy himself said, you know, he found it kind of strange that a rock band would call their album Fragile. He says, well, we we're, weren't really anything close to that, so we just called this Not Fragile. Anyways, this is a fantastic album. Um, easily, I think, the best album by Bachman Turner Overdrive. This is their magnus opus, if you prefer. Their moving pictures, you know, if you want to go to the comparison of the other Canadian band that I like so much. Um, the best part about this album is it rocks really heavy. It's a heavy rocker. So there's a few things about it. Um, I'll give you the vitals first, just so I don't forget any of them. So this was released in September of 1974 at recorded on at K Smith Studios in Seattle, Washington in the USA. Uh, it's about 36 minutes or so in length uh, on the Mercury label and the produced by Randy Bachman himself. So the band the BTO is Randy Bachman on lead vocals and guitars. Blair Thornton on guitars and vocals, or backing vocals. Uh, Fred Turner, or C.F. Turner if you prefer, on lead vocals and bass. And Robbie Backman on drums and percussion. In addition to that, um, slide guitar was played on Blue Monin by Frank Trowbridge. Trowbridge. So, very, very solid album, nine tracks in all. Now, it, it did originally start out as an eight track, not an eight track, sorry, as in there was eight tracks originally going to be on the album. And then the apparently the producer looked at the album and says he, he couldn't see anything that would be a hit on here, like a radio friendly hit. So he said, did you have any other tracks that you might want to put on the album? And they gave him the song, You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. He said, that's more radio friendly. They'll put that on. This is the first um, the first BTO album to reach number one in the United States. It also reached number one in Canada, of course. And I think it was number two in on the British charts with the hit single, You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet, which... Uh, was first in Canada and in the United States as well. It became number one. It was a number one hit. So other things on the album. Um, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Oh, uh, okay. You ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, there was one other track here. Oh, Roll On Down the Highway. That was the one I was looking for. That also made... Uh, the top uh, top 40 in the states and uh, in Canada as well so they had two hits basically but this album rocks heavy Al almost most of my favorite BTO stuff is on this album even four-wheel drive which is a really solid album doesn't come close to this this is the only masterpiece album for Bachman Turner Overdrive for me anyways so it's got like I said, nine tracks. Oh, this is also the first, this is their third studio album, and it's also the first studio album for Blair Thornton, who took over guitars. He's listed as the second lead guitar, and there's a lot of uh, dual leads on this. We well, didn't get that with Tim Bachman. He was more of a rhythm guitar player, so here we go. So the first song, Not Fragile, the title track, really heavy, solid track hard rockin' song. Um, really, to me, it's a great opener. It really sets the tone for the rest of the album. Fantastic, just just a fantastic tune. Um, then you have Rock Is My Life and This Is My Song. So uh, this is a probably my favorite BTO song. 
has been for some time. It wasn't always my favorite BTO song, but I think it is now. It has been for a while. This is a Randy Bachman vocal uh, song. Uh, just real catchy. Just tells a story about a guitar player. You know, I, I just really feel like it's... Uh, it's got its kind of mellow parts, but it's pretty rockin' song. The next tune on here we go to is Roll On Down the Highway, another classic hit for them, Radio Stable. It's on their greatest hits as well, fantastic tune. Also pretty heavy. Um, this song, uh, I think, is CF on vocals. It does not say but I'm pretty sure it's C.F. Turner on vocals. He's got the more gravelly voice of the two. Yeah, this is C.F. on here. I'm pretty sure it was him anyways. Uh, you got uh, C.F. is on the Not Fragile. All of the real kind of heavy stuff on the album is C.F. on vocals. Then you got, see, there's a nice shot of them here in their Western attire <laughs> with their BTO label. Then you get to You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet, which is a rock radio stable, one of their best. One, I think it's their biggest hit of all time. Uh, definitely one of my favorite songs, one of the first ones I've ever heard, too, in, in amongst the first two or three that I'd ever heard. Great track, another Randy Bachman. I actually seen Randy do this on a country western, um, it was a TV show, where they brought him out and he did You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. It was a country western show. And what shocked me the most was he didn't have a beard. I didn't even, I never had seen him without a beard before. If he'd walked by me in a crowd, I wouldn't even have known it was him. That's how different he looked. So, you know, like Superman puts his glasses on and nobody knows who they are. Randy Bachman takes his beard off and nobody knows who he is, you know. Uh, next song is Free Willin'. It's kind of a guitar part that Blair Thornton wrote. Then you get to Sledgehammer, probably the hardest song on the album. Another vocal song by C.F. Turner and his gravelly voice. Such a great singer, man. Fantastic stuff. And you get uh, Blue Moanin' with the slide guitar from uh, Frank Trow Trowbridge on it. Fantastic song. Second hand, second hand, second hand. Yeah, fantastic. That tune is classic so good it's one of the deep cuts on the album this is randy sings this one and then giving it all away as vocals by both of them it's the only one on here where they both do lead vocals at the same time really catchy tune i'm just going to put this back in here so i don't screw it up giving it all away so from top to bottom, not a bad track on here. There's no filler on this album. Well, maybe Free Willin' might be a little bit of a filler song, but um, everything else is just crunching, hard rock at its best. Um, puts this band, for me, this is the face album for BTO. Um, yeah, just can't say enough good stuff about it. Such a classic rock album. If you haven't had a chance to listen to this and you are looking for some hard rock stuff to listen to, you gotta listen to this album. Their other albums have hard songs on them too. Some, uh, some pretty good stuff on most of their earlier stuff, but um, a lot of fillers on some of the first two. On the first two, there's some fillers, and then on the even on the third, on the four-wheel drive, there are a couple of spots where it's kind of weak. But this one doesn't have any of that. Hard rock from the top to the bottom. Great album. Yeah, I love it. BTO. Not fragile. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Look Back at a Classic Rock Album. This will come out again next Monday. We'll have another album for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like. Make your comments below. And hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. Hit the bell if you want to be warned by our next bunch of videos coming out. And uh, we will see you later. So have a good night and take care. Bye.